Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create some time to event related variables which are based on BDS TTE dataset. So we will see the example using a case of time to first rescue medication. So let us go to the description. So let us assume that we are working on a diabetes study. So testing a particular medication against placebo. So there can be cases where the glucose levels are not controlled adequately while on study. So let us assume again for this example that if glucose levels are not adequately controlled, they can be injected with insulin as a rescue medication. For analysis purposes, we want to identify the time from treatment start date, which means the start of the study treatment to the first administration of the rescue medication after study treatment start. Again, I'm reiterating for analysis purposes, we want to identify the time from treatment start to first administration of this re rescue medication after study treatment start. And there will be subjects who never need rescue medication. And for those subjects, we want to indicate that the rescue medication was not needed until study treatment end date. So we want to differentiate the subjects who needed the rescue medication and who did not. So we do that in a variable called sensor in ADTT dataset. And for the subjects who needed rescue medication, we will populate as zero in the sensor variable. And for the ones who did not, we will populate the sensor variable as one. So here I have given two scenarios of subject 1001 and 1002 as an example. So do not correlate with these subjects in the actual data, which I will show in the next example in the coding. So let us assume that the first subject started treatment on a particular date and he ended the treatment somewhere here. But after starting the study treatment, somewhere he needed the rescue medication. So we want to identify the time from the treatment start date to the first rescue medication. As this subject need a rescue medication, so we want to identify that this subject need a rescue medication and then we are populating the sensor variable as zero. And for take, let's take this example of subject 100 who might have started taking treatment on a particular date and ended the treatment on a particular date. But this subject never needed rescue medication anywhere in between this start and end dates of study treatment. So, but for these subjects, we said we wanted to tell the end user that this subject did not need the rescue medication until the treatment end date. So, but we need to, we are populating the date or calculating the time from treatment start date to rescue medication for this subject. For this subject, it is time from treatment start date to treatment end date. But there is a difference here. So for the first subject, it is rescue medication. For the second subject, it is till the treatment ended the subject need did not need rescue medication so we do differentiate those two scenarios using this variable called sensor for the ones who need it we are populating it as zero and for the ones who did not need the rescue medication so we are calling that subject as being censored and populating or indicating it with the value one in sensor variable so this is the overall concept of this example so let us now move to the specification and then programming so here i have my specification which says uh, we are creating a variable called star dt as per adam bds dt structure we need to specify the what is the start from which we are calculating the time frame so for us the start date is trt sdt so we'll be using treatment start date from adsl as the start date for calculating the time frame and then we have param variable it says create a parameter called or parameter named time to first rescue medication for each subject of all safety subjects present in ADSL. So which means time to rescue medication would be present for each subject who took a treatment dose in the study for uh, which are present in ADSL. And for these subjects, how to calculate eval, the derivation logic is provided in the eval variable. So for param CD, so it said, use populate the value of T2 resmed when param is equal to time to rescue medication. For the sake of simplicity, we are creating only one time to event parameter. So, and there can be cases in your regular studies also there you may need only one time to event parameter. So, but here we are going with one parameter and that is time to first rescue medication. And then we have ADT variable. So, start date is from the time which 
where our time frame begins so that is our treatment start date so, and then ADT has two possibilities one is for the subjects who took rescue medication we will be using the earliest rescue medication start date and for the subject who didn't take the rescue medication we will be using the treatment end date so this is kind of from start date what is the end date kind of thing so this is analysis date for param is equal to time to rescue medication for subjects who took at least one dose of insulin after treatment start date so get the earliest cmst dtc after converting to numeric format for each subject where cm decode is equal to insulin so there can be cases wherein the subject might have needed rescue medication more than once in that cases so we are being asked only to use the earliest start date for our uh, ADT value so even the parameter value itself was saying that the time to first rescue medication so multiple res uh, administration of rescue medications is allowed in that case we are only cutting it off at the first rescue medication administration and for the subjects who did not take insulin after treatment start we are being asked to populate it with the treatment end date as discussed in the description and then we have the sensor variable it says for param is equal to time to first rescue medication for subjects who took at least one dose of insulin after treatment start so set to zero and for the subjects who did not take insulin after treatment start so we are being setting we are setting the value to one so both ADT will have a value for subjects who took and who did not take but we are differentiating that what is the date value that is present in ADT using this sensor variable and then we are creating our eval variable which is ADT minus star DT plus one so which is, which will give us the overall duration time time frame or then in the in terms of number of days which required the time to first rescue medication so let us now move to the programming and how this can be achieved so we will be needing our adsl data set as input and then concomitant medication to identify the first date when the subject took insulin so these two record data sets are our main input data sets so let us now see so here from adsl i am sub creating a subset called adsl01 filtering only for those subjects who took our study treatment so those can be identified with SAFFL is equal to y so i'm filtering safety subjects and storing them in adsl01 and then for concomitant medications i'm just creating a copy of it and calling it as cm01 and in the next step what i'm doing here is so we need to get the earliest treatment start date for that what i'm doing here is converting the cmsdtc to numeric date value by using input function and yymmdd 10 dot in format and then i am applying a date 9 format for the newly created variable which is cmstdt and then as we need to compare our uh, concomitant medication start date if the subject took insulin with the treatment started because we need to consider only those records those rescue medications administered after the treatment start date so for that we need our treatment start date to be populated across the concomitant medication record so that we can filter only those records or the only those rescue medication administration which started after treatment started so we are pulling in treatment start date from adsl data set into our concomitant medications data set so we know that when we merge two data sets we need to sort the data sets based on the same by variables so we are sorting cm02 using proc sort based on u sub jd and our adsl data set based on u sub jd here and then we are creating a new data set called cm03 and keeping only a record for subjects who are present in both the data sets so let us now take a look at our cm02 first so here i have created the numeric counterpart of our cmstdtc and then i have created cm03 to pull in the information start date or treatment start date basically into concomitant medications start date or concomitant medications data set so that i can compare my cmstdtc cmstdt with trtsdt to filter only those records which are occurring after treatment start date so we will do that here in the next step so we are getting the earliest start date of insulin so i am using again proc sort here to 
create a new data set called restmet01 from cm03 in that step i am filtering only those records where cmd code is equal to insulin see if you take a look at the data we have records for other medications taken as well but we are not interested in those cases we are only interested in the insulin cases so i am directly filtering for the rows which correspond to insulin and then we are interested in only those cases where the rescue medication started on or after the treatment start date so we are checking if CMST DTC is greater than or is equal to treatment start date and both of them are not null. So this will give us the insulin rows and then uh, which are uh, where the administration occurred after the on or after the treatment start date. So let us now take a look at RESMED01. So we have only one subject who took insulin but there are three instances. So out of these three instances let us quickly cross check if they are all after treatment start date. 5th Jan is the 2010 is the treatment start date. So 29th Jan, 30th Jan and 31st Jan. So there are three administrations of rescue medication. So out of these, the earliest one is 29th Jan. So here I have sorted the records in such a way that uh, all the records of a subject are sorted in ascending date manner so that the earliest record would come on top. So in the all we need is to identify the earliest date. So we are subsetting the earliest record for each subject who took insulin uh, in this next step. So we are creating a new data set called RESMED02 by using RESMED01 and then filtering the first record within each subject. And then here we are creating a variable called RESMEDDT by just copying the value from CMSTDT and then keeping only the variables which are required USUBJD and RESMEDDT. So this RESMEDDT contains the earliest uh, rescue medication start date for each subject when they have taken a rescue medication. So now let us take a look at our RESMED02. So technically basically we are looking at, based on the data we have here, we should have only one record in RESMED02 and that too is from uh, this 29th Jan 2010 record. Yeah, we have that record. So we have out of the three subjects we had, so we have one subject who took a rescue medication and that subject's early earliest start date is 29 Jan 2010. Now, as per the definition, so we need to have a record for each subject, each safety subject present in ADSL. So what I'm doing here is I am pulling my rescue medication start date into my ADSL data set and calling that output data set as ADSL02. So let's take a quick look at our ADSL02. So here if you see, there are three subjects, 1001, 1002 and 1003. For the first subject, he took he or she took rescue medication on 29th Jan 2010 and for the other two subjects it is null because they have not taken any rescue medication. So now we have all the sufficient all the information needed to jump into our variables required for our ADTT. So now let us go and see how we are creating that. So we have a record for each safety subject and for the subject who took rescue medication we have the date available. And as per the definition, so for the start date was treatment start date. ADT was rescue medication start date if they took rescue medication. Otherwise, TRT EDT was the ADT value. So we will see now how that is being created. So we are assigning the param CD value as T2 resmed as per the specification. And for param, we are assigning the text time to first rescue medication. And then for start DT, so it was supposed to be treatment start date. And then we are checking if rescue medication date is not equal to missing. Then do our ADT takes the value from rescue medication start date. So we are assigning that to ADT. And on the same record, if they have taken a rescue medication, so we are filtering for, we are assigning a value of zero to the sensor variable. So we are assigning that here. Otherwise, if rescue medication is missing, so for all those subjects, we had to use ADT from TRT EDT. So we are assigning the value from TRT EDT to, AD, TRT EDT to ADT variable. And then we are indicating that those subjects with a value of one in sensor variable, which means that the subject did not take rescue medication. So now the next step is to calculate our eval. So we are checking if both star DT is not is equal to missing and ADT is not is equal to missing. If that is the case, so eval is being derived as ADT minus star DT plus one. So which gives us the duration in terms of days. So, and then I'm applying a format for the numerically uh, numeric date values. Um, 
all the numeric date values star dt adt trt sdt and trt edt with the date 9 and then this essentially completed our time to event data set so and in the final data set what i'm doing here is keeping only the required variables in a logical order so let us cross check the output generated so here if we see there were three subjects each safety subject has a record in our adtt data set so for the subject who took rescue medication on 29 jan so we have adt populated with that and then we are indicating that with a value in zero in sensor variable and for the other two subjects they did not take the medication for them the sensor value is one and but for those subjects adt comes from our trt adt so 21st march 2010 and 21st april 2010 so we have the adt populated and eval we have derived as the duration from start date to the adt so which means the first subject needed rescue medication in 25 days from the start of the study medication and the other two subjects uh, they were on treatment till 12 days and they did not need any rescue medication till 12 days so this is how we can create a adam tte time to event analysis data set though we have seen one simple example of time to first rescue medication so in general most of the cases so it will be as simple as this in the programming aspect so there can be complicated derivations prior to uh, this ADTT data set so wherein we will have to fetch multiple uh, check the dates from different data sets but we'll see the examples in future videos thank you for watching and keep learning